Welcome to Frog TV, I'm Adam Baker. Guys, a few years ago, I did a video that you found really helpful, the top tips for Costa Rica travel. So I thought it's well overdue to do another. So to celebrate seven years of Frog TV, here's my seven top things to do in Costa Rica. Number one, guys, visit a rainforest or a cloud forest. They're very similar, it's just slightly different in elevation. Cloud forest is much higher up, around 2,000 meters, and of course the rainforest is closer to sea level. Costa Rica is an incredibly tropical, lush destination, and the rainforests here are amazing. But if you want a true primary rainforest experience, head to the south, to the Osa Peninsula. It's a short flight from just about anywhere in the country, and you'll be truly immersed in nature. The same place Nat Geo claws, one of the most bio-intense places on Earth. And the Osa Peninsula region makes up 5% of all the world's biodiversity. If you're looking for a cloud forest, maybe orchids or a unique bird species, the best one is the biological reserve in Monte Verde. It's around a three to four hour drive from San Jose when you're up there stay a couple of nights as it's a beautifully isolated region and the cloud forest is absolutely amazing and don't forget your rain jacket. At any, of the time, any time of the year might you see uh, a few rain showers check it out. Number two, visit the Arenal Volcano. This is the adventure capital of Costa Rica. 80% of all tourists land in San Jose, go to Arenal first before perhaps heading to a beach or somewhere else. The Arenal Volcano is an iconic uh, cone-shaped volcano and it makes for amazing photos. All the hotels in the region make sure to have beautiful views of this place. And as I said, it's the adventure capital. So here you can do a number of tours, but my personal favorite is the hot springs. You've got so many different hot springs options in the area, whether it's at hotels or somewhere else. Check it out, enjoy the views, do an amazing tour. And if you're not heading to the Arenal Volcano, perhaps you have chance to visit the Poas Volcano or the Irasu Volcano, which is incredibly high, nearly 12,000 feet, located just outside San Jose in the Central Valley. They are spectacular. Don't miss out on seeing a volcano. Number three, do an adventure tour. Perhaps you're in Arenal, you're in the perfect spot to do an adventure tour, but in Costa Rica, you have so many options. Obviously, the Canopy Zipline Tour is right up there. Uh, whitewater rafting is a highlight. The best river in the country, uh, in the country is Pacuare. It's a class four to five uh, in the low season when it rains a lot, that's a must do. Uh, horse riding, ATVs, uh, jungle waterfall repelling. There's a bunch, of a bunch of choices all over the country. So check it out. You're probably in the Arenal Volcano. Choose one and just at least do one. You'll have a blast. Number four, visit a Costa Rica beach in Guanacaste. Why Guanacaste? This is the region in the north of the country. Absolutely spectacular, very beautiful. You've got so many beaches to choose from. And being on the Pacific side, you get amazing sunsets from just about anywhere. My personal favorite, probably the Papagayo area is an amazing uh, enclosed gulf. So the sea is incredibly calm. It's absolutely beautiful. You get lovely beaches around that area. Uh, Playa Conchal is beautiful. It means shell beach, but the, be the, the shells are really small, so it looks like white sand all the way around. Highly recommend Conchal. And then a bit further north is Flamingo, which has some of the best sunsets, if you ask me, in the whole country. Flamingo Beach is a stunning white sand beach all the way down. And if you're looking for something a little bit more off the beaten track, Playa Hermosa is also really beautiful, light golden sand beaches kind of enclosed. There's so many options in Guanaca, stay check it out. Number five, try local Costa Rica coffee. Costa Rica exports some wonderful products, but coffee is one of the most famous. Try the Doca Plantation in the Central Valley if you want a full tour about the whole coffee making experience. Uh, you'll also find coffee fields around the Irasu volcano. My personal favorite is the coffee at Finca Rosa Blanca. It's a boutique hotel right in the Central Valley, quite close to the airport, and they actually have a coffee plantation on site. Coffee is amazing and you can only buy it on site there. That's my insider's tip. Number six, eat like a local. Costa Rica has got some really interesting dishes. You're gonna see them at your stay. The Costa Rica fruit is incredible. I've been here for well over 10 now, actually 14 years, can you believe it? And I still find fruit that I've never tried since I first came here. So Costa Rica fruit you'll find everywhere. It's succulent, it's ripe, it's always amazing. Try the Costa Rica breakfast. Guide your pinto, the painted rooster, Rice and beans, absolutely delicious. You can find it in all the hotels. Uh, you mix your rice and beans with sour cream or the special Lizano sauce, it's delicious. And if you've got time at lunch, try the Casado, which is the marriage of food. Uh, you can check out other videos on our channel. 
for a bigger experience of a cassado, but it will fill you up and it's absolutely delicious. And then of course you have the patacones, if you're looking uh, for a snack, which is crushed plantains, absolutely delicious. Or if you're looking for another bar option, chifrijo, which is a wonderful meal to have with a nice beer or cold Coke at a bar. Check it out, eat like a local, you won't regret it. Guys, finally, number seven, discover the amazing Costa Rica wildlife. Here there is so much to see, wherever you are, you'll find something. Uh, the sloths, super famous here. The toucans are beautiful. Scarlet macaws, iguanas everywhere. Beautiful butterflies, uh, monkeys, the white-faced capuchins, the really sweet squirrel monkeys, uh, spider monkeys in the south, and Congo monkeys. Uh, they call them mono Congo. Howler monkeys, you'll hear them absolutely everywhere. Uh, frogs, just like our logo, the red-eyed tree frogs, are quite stunning. There's so much to see and photograph. Nature lovers, you'll already know this. Bird lovers. There's amazing bird species all over the country. Have a list, get through it, you won't be disappointed. Guys, I hope you found that list helpful. That's my top seven things to do and see while you're here in Costa Rica. What have I missed? Let me know in the comments box below. What are you looking forward to seeing on your next trip? For more amazing visuals in Costa Rica, click this video just here. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe with us to stay in touch with everything Costa Rica related by clicking just here. For Frog TV, I'm Adam Baker. Hasta la próxima.